All right, so we're gonna be AFK fishing for a bit because I have uh, a lot of work to do in real life. So I'm gonna, you know, you know, AFK there and get some experience on the way. And after that, we will see uh, what we're gonna do. So during my fishing adventures, I got myself a clue in a bottle, and uh, yeah, I have completed the clue. So let's see what we got. Ah, oh, beautiful drop, beautiful. All right, I've done some fishing. 310 raw swordfish and 408 raw tuna. I'm not gonna cook them yet, but what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna train my mining a bit and crafting because I wanna work towards a strength Emmy, which requires 50 crafting. So, still gonna be quite a long road, but um, yeah, let's uh, start with that. Let's first buy myself an Addy pickaxe, and once I reach 41, I will have enough money to buy the rune one. Now I can't buy it yet, but of course I will soon enough. I'm very close to 40 crafting, I think one more, two more. Here we go, 40 crafting guys, I have now access to the crafting guild. Although I don't know if it's worth doing right now because I don't have 40 mining yet, so I can't mine gold yet and I cannot make gold bars yet. So I think I'm gonna wait till my mining and smithing is 40 plus and then go to the crafting guild. But for now on, I'll just keep doing this because this works perfectly fine. A few minutes ago there was a system update and I really took advantage out of this because when there is a system update all the shops in RuneScape reset to its normal uh, normal stock. So right here there's Gem Trader and he usually has one um, uh, uncut sapphire and one uncut uh, emerald in his store. And I managed to buy quite a lot of them and I mean this is great because it is very easy to get them and um, they are like 700 GP worth each. So this is going to be about uh, 35k in total, which is not too bad, and some nice crafting XP, so I got that for free in just a few minutes. I am currently at Evil Bob's Island, and if you look around, like I've zoomed out all the way, then you can see again, like, what are all those things? I see lava there and a purple rock or whatever, and, and I don't know where this is on the world map. Like, is does it actually have a place on RuneScape's world map, or is it just like a secret... I don't know, area or whatever. Well, it's interesting. I just got myself level 41 mining after this trip, and that means that now I can use rune pickaxes. Um, I don't have the money yet, but I made so many symbols that I'm gonna sell those, and then I will have more than enough cash to buy a rune pickaxe, and of course that's what I'm gonna do, because uh, it will make things a lot faster. I'm gonna train my mining up, um, you know, till my smithing is 39, and then I'm gonna mine gold because with Dwarven Stouts I can boost my smithing to 40 so that I can make gold bars and stuff. And uh, then I can make all the jewelry of the gems I have in my bank. So that is the plan. But first I need to sell my symbols again. We also have 45 crafting coming in. That is awesome. Because 5 more levels now till we can make a ruby amulet which means an amulet of strength. I must say, selling all these symbols to this uh, wildy shop is not the most fun thing to do, but uh, now that I have all this cash, I think it is definitely worth it, because now I can buy the pickaxe, and I have a lot of money left. It is time to buy another rune beauty, so I'm going to sell my other pickaxes and then buy the rune pickaxe. Very, very nice. The best pickaxe in free-to-play has been obtained. I am in the crafting guild now because I can mine loads of gold and silver here. Now my smithing level is 38 but very close to 39. If I uh, make these bars then I will be 39. And with these dwarven stouts I can boost my smithing to level 40 so I can make gold bars. And uh, I'm gonna keep doing that until 40 of course and then I will not need the boost anymore. But now I can simply teleport to Falador and uh, there will be a furnace very nearby. And I can make those bars and I will keep doing this now until uh, 50 crafting and then uh, we can uh, get ourselves a strength Emmy. Look at that, we got 40 smithing which means I don't need a boost anymore to make gold bars. That is actually great. Now let's continue. Alright guys, let's go for 50 mining. Yeah, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. Now after this trip, I will have 50 crafting as well. Guys, honestly... I've been playing all day to do this. 50 crafting, but we finally got it. So now I can get myself this Emmy of Strength for a plus 10 strength bonus. Unbelievable. Here we go. Kapow. Amulet of Strength. So this is my gear right now. And to get the best free-to-play gear possible, there's only three more items that I can improve. 
being the Rune Sword, the Strength Emmy, and the Chronicle Book. Um, the Rune Sword could be improved by getting a Rune Scimitar, but that is mission impossible. I'm not going to do that because the only way to get it is by training smithing to, I believe, 90 or 91. That is something that I just will not do, so we will have to consider this as the best in slot item for me. The second one is the Emmy of Strength. We can replace that for an Emmy um, of Power. Now, I'm not sure what Emmy is better because the Strength Emmy gives a plus 10 Strength bonus and the Power Emmy only plus 6. However, the Power Emmy gives all other kinds of bonuses that are much better. However, if I keep killing Hill Giants, then the Hill of then the Emmy of Strength will be the best because Hill Giants have no defense at all. So, probably this will be the best then as well. And then we have left the Chronicle. Now, of course, we can replace this with a Rune Kite Shield, which would be significantly better. But the only way to get it is by killing Obor. So, I will have to kill more Hill Giants to get keys and hopefully get a drop. And the rings are quite pathetic because there, it doesn't really matter what ring you use. There's no ring with any bonuses in free-to-play, so just cosmetics. But anyway, that's my gear now, so basically the only item that I need to go for is the Rune Guide Shield. Well, 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 back at the Hill Giants and look what we've got, a beginner clue scroll. Alright, there was a quick one, let's open it. Wow. Whoa. Illuminati. 52 treasure trails and uh, 52 coins, that is not a coincidence. There we go, 56 strength guys and combat level 60, that's a nice milestone. Let's keep going. Guess what, we got another casket. And I think it's gonna be 7 cabbages and 4 earth runes, so here we go. Oh, <gasps> yes! Frog slippers, that's awesome! I didn't have those yet, that is actually amazing because I also have a frog token in the bank. I don't know if I've shown that in an earlier clip, but... I can actually exchange this frog token for a frog mask and yeah that's gonna be quite epic to have them both so awesome guys another rare the clues are coming in quite nicely can we get a lovely parrot nope in all this time playing on this account this is the very first time I get a mystery box from a random event and I've seen on uh, the wiki that there is a very very small chance of getting a very rare item which is like um, basically a baguette that you can wield <laughs> it's like purely cosmetic or actually no it gives minus 100 in all stats I believe but um, even though it's a very small chance I wanna open it and see what we get so here we go Ah, oh, only a bucket well uh, let's hope we can get uh, another one soon three two one notification go Ouch. I've killed like 183 hill giants since I came back here and unfortunately no key yet, no giant key, but once again we got a clue so of course we're gonna do that. Okay, so we are in a skirt shop and I still need the um, monk rope bottoms, so uh, yeah, maybe 1 plus 1 is 2, let's go. Never mind. And here we go, once again, let's open it. And this is, wow, great. I'm super happy with that. Okay, no comment. Well, guys, look at that. This is very interesting. We got another giant key, which means we can kill Obor another time, and hopefully we can get the Rune Kite Shield. Before doing Obor, I decided to finish my trip, and I got another clue, so let's open that first, and then we're going to do Obor. But first, this. And this is not too great. It is time for Obor kill number 6. And this time I hopefully will get a rune guide shield. Because that is the only real item that I actually need from this guy. So uh, yeah, or maybe the Obor club. You know, the, the hill giant club. Anyway, let's go for it. This way it is really, really easy to kill him. Like, no difficulties at all. And there we go. Kill number 6 of Obor. What will we get? Nature room. That is always welcome. That is always welcome, of course. And we got the clue scroll again, so uh, let's do that right away. And here we go. Ah, oh, beautiful. 